All right, still Wednesday, November 18th. I had to cut this video short because the guys arrived and I don't know if they're camera shy or not. My Spanish isn't very good. So here's the interior of the house, of course. Drywall's been put up in the ceiling. I try to explain to people why the drywall is on the ceiling and not on the walls. And there's really one major reason. It's called Aero Barrier, which is a liquefied, vaporized caulk. In order to do Aero Barrier, which involves pressurizing the house, they actually put a fan on the door, pressurize it, tape all the windows, all the seams, and then proceed to set up these stands, which you'll see in later videos, which then liquefy and aerosolize this caulk. And this caulk then finds every leak. There's probably a leak here. There's probably a leak up there. There's leaks everywhere that you can't see. And what this liquefied aerosolized caulk does is it blocks any cracks a half an inch or smaller. So it will block cracks that are imperceptible to the human eye. Now that's a good thing because most homes lose so much heat and cooling with what's called an air change. No house is perfectly tight. This one will be as close to it as you can get. It still won't be perfectly tight. There'll still be places that leak, such as doors. You can't caulk a door seam. The point is, is that as the aero barrier floats around the room and finds every single crack, because realize this space will be pressurized to about 50 pascals, which I've been told is the equivalent of about a 20 mile an hour wind. This caulk will be floating in the air, this hand of mine is uh, emulating caulk, and then we'll find all the cracks. <clears throat> when done, if I get a chance to photograph it, you'll see this sort of light gray powder that will find all the cracks. And it's amazing how many cracks there are in a building. You don't really appreciate it until you've watched somebody pressurize a house and do aero barrier. Once that is done, and it's gonna be done for the living area here, as well as the garage, they will then come in and finish putting the spray foam in. Now realize the spray foam will already be in the ceiling. One of the things you do with aero barrier is you cap off the ceiling because there's a ton of leaks there. So they cap it with this two pound, spray foam in the ceiling, which provides its own air barrier or ceiling. And then all you're interested in doing with the aero barrier is sealing all the cracks in this area. One of the old techniques was to take caulk in a caulking gun and spend literally days caulking every single crack. The shortcoming of that is that you can't really see all the cracks. I mean, a crack that is a 16th of an inch wide, you can't see it as hard as you try. So the next technique they developed was to pressurize the house and take smoke guns and see where the smoke would go. Well, that's a pain in the butt. The other technique is just to walk around with a smoke gun. It's an older technique. You walk around with a smoke gun without the house being pressurized. And you look for the smoke to be pushed away by leak. Now that requires that there be <coughs> air pressure outside hitting the side of the house and causing the air to come through. That's better than blind caulking, but certainly not ideal. So they developed this aero barrier from technology, I think it was called Aero Seal. Their initial product was Aero Seal where they would take the, the HVAC ducts and pressurize them and seal the interior of the HVAC ducts, the pipes, to find the 30 or 40% of leaks that occur in piping. Pipes that move air, such as this one for the April air dehumidifier, 
are not 100% sealed. They leak like crazy. So this company out of Ohio developed this product called AeroSeal. They then extrapolated and said, why don't we do this to the whole house? Well, it works on the whole house. The advantage of, of course, sealing it is you go from three to four air changes per hour, meaning that this whole space, if you did nothing, would experience air coming in at approximately three times the volume of this space every single hour. It just does it. And you can imagine the amount of energy that's wasted just having the air gently stream out. When you get it down to half an air change per hour, that's really tight. I mean, that's tight, that suffocates you tight. <clears throat> which is one of the reasons we have to have a air exchanging device, which is shown in previous videos, because it actually brings in fresh, unpolluted air and exhausts the old crummy air, which has been in the environment. A lot of people don't understand that the indoor air quality can be terrible. It's a big deal in green building, and we'll discuss it in the future. So this is my usual just document what's going on. I take some videos, let people know what's going on, since you can't all be here. So it's looking pretty good, yeah. The final electrical was done yesterday. Only one item was missing. I wanted to run another Cat6 cord to the corner of the house because I want to do this thing called the Ubiquity Wi-Fi transmitter. But that didn't happen. You know, you don't get everything you want. Isn't that the way life is? Oh, and here's the building permit sign off. So now that's why we're doing what we're doing now. So this is the, <laughs> I should say, this is the tornado room. This is the second bedroom. This is the master bedroom. This is the master bath with a walk-in shower blocking for grab bars in the future. This is the closet for the second bedroom. It's a pretty big closet, actually, if you think about it. This is pretty big, but it's gonna be used for storage clothes. You know, in the winter, it'll be used for summer clothes. And for the summer, it'll be used for winter clothes. Come down the hallway, big ass pantry is gonna be here. Contracts are signed already to have those installed. Kitchen wall, refrigerator, right here is gonna be from that location towards me, about 15 feet is gonna be a peninsula. I'm not a fan of islands. I figure the kitchen is not the place where you have a lot of traffic patterns. Generally there's one or two people in the kitchen. It's their kitchen. Yeah. This is gonna be the IT room, closet for computers, network video recorders. So that's why there's all this wiring. This great tube runs from inside the house all the way through the garage ceiling down onto the exterior. And this is the run that's being used for our cable company. So they can run their Cat6 cable or whatever they use through this tube. I've been told that quite often when they show up, they just love to tack the cabling wherever they can find a spot. So I thought, well, we'll just install the tube now, have it ready to go make it easier for the spectrum guys windows facing south as you notice the sundial effect it's about eight in the morning i think right now so obviously the sun is low and it's streaming through there it's very bright as we've discussed in the past that's the way it was designed to be so you can be cheery in the morning so when it's cold and bitter in february you have this nice sun that just makes you feel happy inside that's about it. Like I said, I always like to document the work that's been done. So if there's a question a month from now, I'll have a video recording and we can look at the film and go, what was there? Did we really install it? Are we all hallucinating? Well, the nice thing about video is that we know what was installed and where it was installed. And it gives us a video record, of course, of what happened. So if there's a question, like I said, we know what happened and we will just deal with it as it goes along. As my friends keep telling me, there are no perfect houses.
It can't be done, apparently. Unless, of course, you're in denial and you say, oh, my house is perfect, when clearly everybody knows it isn't perfect. Yeah, got to look at all that cable. This is going to be a great little closet to have all the computer stuff in. So it's about 30 degrees outside. Not a bad day. It's supposed to rain this weekend. So I suspect that these guys will be working pretty hard to get stuff done. Uh, you all take a have a good time. Take care of yourselves. Bye.